Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Martha Stewart Kitchen. This one is the ready to bake pork and pinto bean stew. It is pork shoulder, pinto beans, and poblano peppers simmered slowly together in a heavy, hearty stew. Uh, a, dish, um, a dash of apple cider vinegar adds brightness to the dish. Um, it is 9 ounces or 255 grams. It says for Martha's Kitchen to yours. It looks pretty good. I like, I like pinto beans and I like pork, so we'll see. Uh, we bought these at Kroger. It was $7.25, which is a little on the high side for a meal, but, you know, let's see what it's like. Uh, 210 calories, which is really good. Uh, I think the calories are excellent. Uh, there's your other information for you. You can calculate whatever you want from that. Um, there's some stuff. Add a dollop of sour cream. Don't have any of that, but, you know, you could if you wanted to. So you can bake this in the oven. There's the baking directions if you want. Of course, we don't do baking. We don't do ovens. We just do microwave ovens, but there's directions if you want. So for the microwave, we're going to remove the tray from the carton, peel back the corner of the film to vent, uh, place the pork and bean stew in the center of the microwave directly on top of a microwave safe plate. I, I figured out why that is, uh, too. Away from the walls. Um, if it has a metal shelf, remove it. Aluminum tray is microwavable. This tray in here is like a metal tray. Uh, cook for four to five minutes on high note. Heat only one meal at a time. Uh, use cautious pan, maybe hot to touch. Stir it up, so you do four to five minutes. Stir and then heat for an additional minute or until the internal temperature reaches 165. Um, I think the reason they want you to put it on a plate, mine has a glass carousel on it, so I, I, I don't think I need to put it in a plate. But if you had a metal bottom, um, by the way, there's no pull tab, so you have to just like rip the box open. Um, if you had a metal bottom on your microwave, it was just a microwave without a turntable, um, this metal tray would arc. Uh, really bad in your microwave it would like literally arc over to the metal edges so i think that's why they want you to put on a plate is so it doesn't arc on the bottom of your microwave since i've got a turntable like i said i don't think i need it but um but i don't know so i am um, hey that one i actually got pretty decently open there um there it is kind of what it looks like so i'm gonna get this in the microwave and uh, i'll be back when it comes out all right so here it is out of the microwave and you get what one two three four five six Six bigger pieces of pork, then you get a couple of smaller pieces of pork. Um, there's your poblano peppers. It looks like it has some onions, and the pinto beans are kind of, there's not a lot of them in there. You would expect that to be, honestly, when, I know this, it's a stew, so you are going to get a lot more of the liquid in there. But, you know, beans are pretty cheap, and I was expecting a lot more beans in there than it has. But it really doesn't have a lot of beans in there. I'm, I'm surprised. Um, so, I'm going to cut up some of this pork. You can see it's very tender. It cuts, uh... That's really good with the fork, so that, that's a good thing. It's not uh, it's not tough um, and dried out or hard or anything. So I'm going to get this over to the table and let it cool off for just a minute, and then I'll be back. Okay, I have a piece of pork, pepper, a, there's a pinto bean on there, and there's some onion. I think it's all the it's all the bigger players in this meal. I think it has some garlic and stuff like that in there, but it's uh, chopped up, so you wouldn't be able to see it. That pepper has a really good flavor, and it's um, it's cooked well, so it's it's got it's more of a tender texture than a crunchy. It's got a little crunch to it, but it's mostly just a tender texture. Um, let me try the pork by itself. It did have an onion stuck to it, but the onion's not a super strong flavor. Um, this is a good meal. It really, the the when you get a pepper, um, it's better. Then if you don't get a pepper, because I like that pepper flavor, the poblano peppers, um, the pork itself is seasoned pretty decently. I mean, it's not, it's good. It does taste like, um, like a meaty stew, but it's not a, like a beef stew where it's like a really thick, hearty stew. It's nothing like that. It's, uh, I say it's be meaty, but it's really not that beefy and, uh, it's not that hearty of a stew. It's a very um, thin stew. It's kind of like a stew you have in medieval times. Um, we throw a couple of vegetables in there and you get a little meat. Um, like I said, cut the pork up, you get at least more of it. It spreads out a little bit more. Um, Flavor-wise, it's okay. I would say if you get one of the peppers, it's really, really good. Um, but the, without the peppers, it's just okay. Yeah, you're getting most of just the, um, we still got a little bit of a pepper flavor, but it's not as good. It's more, um, I don't know, it almost has a little bit of a bitter flavor to it. I don't know what that is in there. Maybe it's the, 
the cooked down version of the pepper. I don't know. It's, 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 it's just okay. Whatever seasoning they're in there that are used in there to braise the pork. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's just okay. So I think the meal's good. I'm going to give it a, just a regular, I'm going to give it an average three, a three out of five. I do like the flavors as long as you get the peppers in there, but without the peppers, it's just, it's, eh, it's okay. Um, I do think the price is expensive for what it is. I don't think it's worth $7.25 or whatever it was. Um, yeah, $7.25. Don't think it's worth that much money. Uh, if you get them on sale cheaper, then go for it. Maybe five bucks, something less than that. It would be worth it. But for, for that amount of money, I just don't think it's worth the money. But the flavors are, are okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.